Good morning people from a Premier Inn in Abu Dhabi and I say morning because I mean it's morning let's have a look at this that's the current time the one above that's the time we're at so almost six in the morning why is it six in the morning you ask well we've just got back from Muscat and our plane was delayed by two hours we got here and the bridge that connects the um i can't be too loud because people are probably asleep but the bridge that connects the aeroplane to the terminals was probably close to half an hour late no one there to man it and then we got out and our shuttle bus had close to 40 minutes before it was there the shuttle bus was interesting very very small very crowded i'll get that on video tomorrow so we have roughly four hours until we have to check out um we can check out by 12 but we need to be at the airport ready to catch our flight out of here because we're going back to athens so the plan is is that we're gonna wake up at around about 10 so four hours sleep and then i'm gonna go around and unpack well we're not gonna pack anything i'm gonna go around get the room a quick tidy we like to do that even though people are hired to do that we still like to do it and then uh, sort ourselves out and then we're going to jump on that shuttle bus back to the airport and we've got to be there apparently four hours early because in Abu Dhabi they don't do uh, uh, mobile boarding tickets they do um, like a printout ones and obviously if you're in a massive queue you're going to need potentially hours to do so on the way to Muscat we didn't need that long they said four hours but in reality it probably the whole process took about an hour start to finish so it'd be very annoying knowing we could have had an extra hour's sleep because we need it but um with all that in mind let's have a little look around and see what you can get in abu dhabi for i think we paid 76 pound for this room for this one night so i'll start you off at the front of the building and uh building <laughs> front of the room and we'll work our way from here so we have a bathroom in here you've got a toilet with the new favorite thing i love these things the uh the bidet spray they're fantastic they really are hello how are you people hope you're well um and you've got a sink a bathtub see what you get towels lotions and washes i'm tempted to get up early just to use that nice and refreshing you get complimentary tea I like green tea myself um but they've only got black tea i don't mind that too much though and uh complimentary water which i absolutely demolished you've got cupboard space oh some extra pillows in there i shall be using them you've got tv pretty decent sized bed i mean obviously compared to some of the beds we've been sleeping in recently if you've seen our other videos the one in oman was insane the one in oman was like this one put together it's crazy <laughs> so we've got that's quite high off the ground that's that's quite interesting got my shoes covered in sand from uh, oman absolute sand everywhere in oman got a little mirror got a little kind of an interesting little couch kind of situation here and we're on the first floor so unfortunately we don't have the most spectacular view you might be able to see it you probably can't no i'll show you in the morning so there you go that's the room pretty much uh, but what we'll also do is show you the shuttle bus ride so you know what that's like if you're interested so the shuttle bus runs every hour, hour. so the pickup is every hour 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then uh, after that i'm not entirely sure what the times are because it doesn't actually list it but when so we got to 24 hours so it's, it's a 24 hour it's a 24 hour service but um it doesn't um it doesn't when it gets past 11 the service runs a little bit more infrequently i guess it's not every hour yeah, it's every 20 and then it'll go to midnight but it was 20 it was 20 past the hour yeah. is what i'm saying so it's 20 past five that the bus arrived but it didn't arrive at 20 past five funnily enough because nothing's gone well today and in fact it actually arrived probably quarter to six <laughs> and then the, the bus ride was 15 minutes check-in took a while as well i'm not going to lie the check-in process took 
ages. The bloke on the counter was lovely though, and he did explain. He said, "Look, this time is really busy because uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. Everyone's trying to catch their shuttle bus back to the airport for their early flights, so it's a bit of a mad scramble." And uh, I was like, "That's fine, mate. It's no problem, man. You know, I'm eager to get. I was eager to get back in the room to relax. But uh, yeah, so what we'll do tomorrow." or technically today I guess after we've slept is we'll show you around the hotel we'll do a little tour as best as we can we'll show the shuttle bus service to, so you can see what that looks like and we'll give you a little look around the airport and then uh, yeah if you're interested in coming you now know the times and stuff and uh, it's a free service so they didn't ask for our like booking registration they didn't see ask for confirmation of that literally just turned up and there was the shuttle bus and we were like right mate Premier in, he was like, Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, cool, get on. I will say this though, it's a very pokey bus. I mean, I'm not the smallest of chaps, and uh, <laughs> it was quite a squeeze, it really was. And I've been on a, quite a few economy flights recently, and it, it rivaled them, I tell you. It was the most pokiest bus I've ever seen in my life, but uh, it did the job, it did it did what it needed to do. Um, and uh, we had a, a lovely young kid on the bus right behind my ear screaming into my ear six in the morning but it, that's what kids do i guess yeah so it's been an eventful journey but it is what it is oh cheers tam just turn off the lights there you go i'm back so uh <laughs> yeah so uh yeah join us uh in the morning where we'll give you a little tour of the uh of the hotel and the uh and the bus shuttle bus service and uh yeah come and come and join us and see what that's like Good morning people so well second morning technically and uh had a nice shower as you can see got my hair down letting it dry and uh what's the time now sam 10:34. so we got up at about, well about half an hour ago um so we've been awake for close to half an hour and we've had probably well three hours, hours three hours sleep maybe roughly so I've got some much needed catch up to do later when we get to Athens. But um, yeah, let's give you a little view of what it looks outside of the apartment. It's not amazing, but if you're curious, here we go. So here's the view, not spectacular, but not the worst either. Got a few nice palm trees in the background there, but mostly nothing, uh, nothing breathtaking. <laughs> Maybe if we we're on a higher floor, we would have had something better to show you, but that's our view. So interestingly enough, this hotel has won some awards. You can see there, best awards. I don't know if they just give them to give these to themselves, you know, but <laughs> self-appointed awards and all that, but still an impressive trophy display. So you've got a little uh, little place to dine just over here. I won't go in and I won't film too much because people are probably having their breakfast, but through here, you can see there's a buffet selection. I'm not partaking today because uh, we simply don't have the time. A very, uh, very nice clean place. Shukran, thank you very much. Shukran, ma salam. All right, so here's the shuttle bus we need. And we can get on now, thankfully. So it must be said, the seats are a little bit on the old pokey side, but uh, they, they do do the job, to be fair.
what a view. Look at that. So, very kindly, the woman behind me uh, opened her window <laughs> to let some air in the bus because it needed it. But in the process, she actually helped dry my hair. What an absolute legend. I got a free blow dry on the bus. <laughs> so, uh, I have to correct myself as well earlier. I said that uh, we paid £76 for one night. That's not correct. It's actually uh, £76 for two nights. And the reason why we booked two nights is because we needed to book the night before because you can't check in until what is it 9 a.m sorry 2 p.m you can't check in till 2 p.m in some circumstances you can check in at 9 p at 9 a.m but as we were arriving at like six in the morning we had to book the previous day so that we could make use of uh the earlier check-in so uh, we had to pay for two nights one night we weren't even there and the night we we're only there for four hours so 76 quid or roughly thereabouts i actually put the actual price up along with the conversions for you but um yeah, it was a good little hotel. I enjoyed it. It's a, obviously a budget chain, but uh, you know, had everything you needed. It was comfortable. I slept very well considering, because um, I, I couldn't settle at first. I was like, oh, I've got a flight tomorrow, trying to go through the things in my head. But uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was worth the money. The service was very good. I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't, didn't get to try the breakfast, but if anyone's ever tried the breakfast before, do let me know what you thought. But uh, yeah, there's the airport. And we are just about to head off and go to our return destination of Athens. So if you're interested in them videos, you can go and watch our videos from Athens. Um, there's a few from Oman if you're interested in seeing Oman. It's a very traditional country, so completely different vibe. But anyway, we really appreciate you watching the video today. We hope you have a wonderful day. The wife's gone off to uh, go and uh, get everything sorted. So. Uh, I better follow but i hope you have a wonderful day people thank you so much for watching hope this has been relatively informational but it's been a short one today but uh, as always we appreciate your time we hope you have a great day people and we'll see you on the flip side thank you and take care <laughs>